Hey horse lovers, welcome back to Free Spirit Equestrian. So we have another snowy day on the farm. We've got a few more inches over the past few days. So we are gonna play in the snow. I'm gonna go for a ride on Jiminy Cricket. He's my heart horse. And then I'm gonna open up the pasture and we'll see if the horses will run and play in the snow. And then the foals and Belle will be able to play too. So it's gonna be super fun. I cannot wait to hit the trails. I have been dying to get out and ride in the snow. So I'm gonna tack up Jiminy and then we're gonna hit the trails. Let's go. Come on Jiminy. We're gonna go in the barn and tack up. Sorry, the lighting. Ooh, I'm gonna walk backwards. Yeah, that was better. I can't decide if I wanna ride English or Western today. I don't know. I'm kind of feeling Englishy, even though my Western saddle is super comfortable. What do you think, Jim? He's like, I don't care. Okay, first we gotta take your blanket off, Jiminy, and then we gotta groom and tack up. Are you excited? <laughs> don't give me that face. It's gonna be fun. Just you and me, buddy. Like the good old days. I present to you, Jiminy Cricket, the Red Roan Leopard Spotted Appaloosa Gelding. Ta-da! He's so sick of my shenanigans. Look, you look so clean because you had your blankie on. And there's not mud, there's snow. For now, it's gonna warm up next week. He's pretty clean, so it's gonna be a super quick groom and then pick his hooves and then we'll tack up and head out. For those of you who don't know, Jiminy is my first horse and he's my heart horse. He stands about 15.2 hands high and he's 23 years old and he is a registered Appaloosa gelding. Sometimes the snow balls up in the hoof. I actually haven't had an issue with it thus far. So Jiminy has composite shoes on. So I do wanna just put this on the bottom just to make sure it doesn't ball up while we're riding outside the snow. So we're gonna try it today. See what it looks like. It's basically like wax. It'll be interesting to see if this works. He had a little bit of snow that was balled up in between his shoe. So let's see. Good boy. All right, we are gonna ride English today. I'm just gonna ride him in my little schooling saddle. It's just a WinTech that I converted to wool flocking, but it's actually pretty comfortable. All right, Jiminy and I are all ready to go. He's tacked up. We're gonna head outside, I'm gonna hop on, and we're gonna head out on the trails. Okay, so Jiminy is wearing our Auburn Classic Bitless Bridle today, so you can pre-order those, because like I said, these bridles just sell out so fast. And he's in our pink shimmer snap out brow band. And then we're in our ECP saddle pad, and then our WinTech schooling saddle, like I said. Ready, Jiminy, for our little solo ride here? The goal is just to have a fun, relaxing, chill ride. Nothing crazy, I just wanna spend time with Jiminy and ride in the snow. All right, heading out now. Hi, Lumi. Hi, Lumiere. He's gonna meet the herd in a, actually tomorrow. So I'll be posting that video of how I integrate him soon. All right. You're such a good boy, buddy. All right, we're gonna go this way first. Oh, Jiminy, watch out, okay. It's gonna be branchy back here. That's okay, I need to get out of the ring. Trail riding is my favorite thing to do. I mean, obviously when you're teaching a horse to trail ride, it's not necessarily relaxing sometimes, but doing it on a horse that you trust is just so much fun. Woo, we got some drifts back here. Woo, you got it, buddy. At least we've got some snow though. I mean, see, I can deal with winter when it's like this. It's just the muck I can't handle. All right, Jimmy, you got some branches down because the snow's heavy on them. Good boy. I know, there's some drifts. Good job thinking about where you're stepping because the branches, he knows those are not usually down, so. Good going slow. Just push through that. You're good, just push through it. Good boy. Whoop, whoop. 
Oh, are we gonna have a lot of branches down? I know, you can just go through these, they're not bad. Good job, I know, I can't believe how many branches are down because of the heavy snow. Oh, these are thorns. I don't want to go through these. We're not going through the thorns. It goes back. <laughs> Navigating the winter wonderland plus brush. Let's go on that other trail. This is all going to melt in the next few days. Isn't that fun? Slow. Don't run down there. Just push through those. Those are not bad. We got this. Good job. Machine. Appaloosa machine. I'm going to turn down this trail. There. This one doesn't have as much brush. boy Jiminy. Yes, it's a bench. Random stone bench out here. Little birdhouse. Another birdhouse. Okay. I'm gonna go back the other way. Hey, these are like crazy. Good boy. Let's try to go through the pine trees. Man, that's crazy. These are all big pine trees and they're just sunk down. Yeah, we're not gonna be able to get through that. Let's go over here. It's pretty. That's crazy. You're a good boy. This is what it is all about for me, is just getting out with my horse and just enjoying the open field and nature and feeling that freedom. And riding in the snow is so special. It's totally magical. Watching the sun glisten on top of the glittering snow and feeling the serene peacefulness that the winter has to offer. But then it's also exhilarating in a sense where you just feel the wind rushing onto your face and it's just something that is not really explainable and it just feels so thrilling yet so calm all in one.
I'm so thankful for Jiminy. We have put in so many miles on the trails over the years. I mean, I've had him for over 15 years and we've been together year after year, season after season on the trail. Horses are what give me purpose. They are what makes me feel alive. And I mean that so literally. I do not know what I would do in life if it wasn't for my horses. And even though it is so much hard work and sometimes it can cause a lot of stress, these are the moments that make every single thing worth it. horse who started it all my entire equestrian journey of ownership is right here he made all my dreams come true and he's still doing it today i get to go ride in the snow and i'm so lucky all right walk through. good boy and jiminy's a forward horse you know like he likes to go he's safe but like, if you ask him to go, you're gone. I put up my big hood so it shields my face. <laughs> cold. My face is cold, but nothing else is. So this looks ridiculous, <laughs> this hood. Okay, we're heading back now to the barn. And then I'm gonna open up the pasture and we'll see if the horses will run and play. I'm not sure how frisky they're feeling, but Either way, you'll get to see. Oh, Jiminy, you're my buddy. I love hanging out with you on the trails. Jiminy, Zazu, and Bagheera are my favorite horses to ride on the trail. Mainly, hold on, I'm like getting choked here. <sighs> Mainly because they're very confident as lead horses. And oftentimes I'm taking my students out or riding solo. So it's just nice to have a horse that is dependable, especially when I'm taking other people because I'm in charge and I don't have to worry about the horse underneath me. I have to worry about everyone else. So yeah, it's just nice to have good trail horses. Gaston's really good on the trail too. So is Arlo and they'll lead just fine. It's just that Jiminy and Zazu and Bagheera are just like perfect lead horses. Like they're just really good. Here, you get your energy out a little bit. You wanted to go, I could tell. You were ready to rock. He would have flat out galloped if I let him, but that field's not big enough. Because, you know, there's not enough room to stop. And also, it's a little, it's still snowy out and I don't really feel like falling. I don't have to. So once Ezzy is weaned and, you know, she's more independent that way, I'm gonna pony her on the trails and same with Ariel. I'm kind of just waiting to amp up like their full training and what I can do once Ezzy's weaned. Then it's gonna be a lot different. Uh, they're both gonna get more stall training, um, Esmeralda and Ariel. And then like I said, I'll be doing more trail riding with them in the sense of ponying them on the trails, whether it's this winter, spring or summer, but that's the goal. And then of course, Belle. But like I said, we have some plans with Belle I'll be talking about. Yeah, but Ezzy is gonna be weaned in like a week, a week and a half. And again, I'm gonna show you that. I'm guessing it's not gonna be too big of a deal because, you know, I've been taking Bella away in short sessions, but we'll just have to see. Hi, Lumi, we're back. You're so pretty. You're gonna get to go on trail rides too. He's like, what are you doing? Hi, buddy. I know, you're gonna get to be at the herd tomorrow. 
Oh, I almost fell backwards. <laughs> good boy. You did good. Look. Look at that. It didn't ball up at all. That's awesome. All right, I'm going to untack him and then I'm going to let the horses out in the pasture and see if they want to play and play with the foals for a little bit. Now I'm going to head over and open the gate for the horses. I don't think they're going to go crazy. They all seem pretty relaxed with the sun out right now. It's the afternoon, but we'll see. Either way, they deserve to go out for a little while because like I said, all the snow is going to melt in a few days. So yeah, I want to give them the opportunity to roam and move outside the paddock for a little while. You guys want to go in the pasture? Everybody's sunbathing and chilling right now. That's why I don't think they're going to be frisky. Come on, guys. Let's go. There you go, girl. Have fun out there. Him and he's like, I already got to run in the snow, but okay, this looks fun. Yeah, Stan's just making 20,000 snow angels. You're late to the party. Now I took his blanket off a minute ago because he gets sweaty and if they were gonna run, I wanted him to have it off, so. Oh. <laughs> You're so cute, buddy. I knew you guys would be happy to come out here for a little bit. Mushi, you happy? And this chonk doesn't need a blanket because his coat is thick. Hi. Hello. Look at Gaston go, woo! Yeah, baby! Get it out. Go, little Zazu, go. Oh, Bagheera's running. I love her. Happy boy. Hi. Why did I took his blanket off?
Are you kidding me? Okay, they got their shenanigans out. Now we gotta let the babies out in the outdoor arena. So I'm not gonna put them in the pasture just because the very back electric fence isn't working and Ariel will test the fences. So yeah, the other horses, like they know they're not gonna mess with it. But with her, eh, I just don't wanna risk it. So the outdoor arena is full of snow and there's nothing in there. So that's plenty of room for them to play. As he is all worked up seeing the other horses run in the snow, she's gonna be so excited. You want to come play in the snow? You want to come out? You want to come out? Oh, she's ready. She's going to be wild. Ariel, you want to play? You ready? <laughs> oh my gosh, they're so freaking cute. Did you have fun? Did you have fun? Crazy girls. You're so pretty. Yes, you are. Gorgeous girls. You're good girl, Mama Belle. You really are. Yes, you are. Ezzy and Ariel, you crazies. Ariel has seriously opened up so much. Like the last month, her expression has completely changed. She's so happy. She'll approach you now. I I'm just so incredibly blessed that she's coming around and that I got her and as he's just crazy as always getting crazier by the day <laughs> you're so big but beautiful beautiful girls what are you doing to your mama yeah she'll be ready to wean you <laughs> she gonna be ready look how big her freaking feet are Six months old, well, seven now, you're seven months, as of a couple days ago or so. Oh my gosh. You shouldn't be big enough to put your head on her butt because Belle is huge. Ariel, hi. Hi. Look at Ariel came up to me. Like I said, she's just so much more playful now and expressive. I just love her so freaking much. I really do. Look how curious she is. Before she would like walk away and be really standoffish. And now she comes right up looking for attention and lovey. You got eye book. My sweet honey. I just love her. Also today I am wearing my Winnie Wine lipstick. If you want to support Free Spirit Equestrian, you can order something off the of Spirited Horse Boutique. It's all equestrian themed and that is the best way to support us. You're so pretty. You hanging out with Belle? <laughs> You're so cute. Yes, you are. So you see how it looks like it's blood over there? 
So in the winter time in the snow, when horses pee, there's a chemical reaction that happens and it looks like blood, but it's not. So if you ever see this, don't be too alarmed because that's usually what it is. Hi. Just a little something I thought about. Hi, Belle. Hi. You girls are so freaking cute. Now everyone is just chilling and sleeping, except Ezzy. You guys got your energy out, huh? Very peaceful. Well, horse lovers, I really hope you enjoyed this snow day on the farm. It was really fun spending time with Jiminy on the trail and watching the horses run and play in the pasture. So make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe to the channel, Turn on your notifications so you don't miss anything Free Spirit Equestrian or any updates, and I'll see you next time. Bye! <laughs> Say bye, Ezzy.